Dear friends, I am back on this beautiful Saturday with another session of Saturday Wisdom. It is said, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it is time to reform, pause and reflect. If you and me agree on everything, one of us will soon be redundant. Hence, I will prod you to be discerning as possible when you take decisions. I have always wondered if there was a future-proof career. I will leave a few thoughts and questions like always for you to think. A question we often ask is what do the next generation students want out of education? Probably they will say decent employment, knowledge, values and citizenship and they are all complementary. Decent living will get them everything else. So going forward, what skills will be required? Can there ever be a future proof career? Though core engineering disciplines like civil, mechanical and electrical have an extremely important role in driving the industry, their potential to generate new job opportunities is low compared to disciplines like IT or computer science. The technology in most of the products, whether used by consumer or by defense services, are a mix of mechanical, electrical, electronics, communications, computer science, materials, besides a host of other disciplines. The new graduate must understand the interplay between them as much as understanding each one of them. Therein lies the opportunity for new job roles. Skill sets required at any level jobs seem to be changing due to automation. We all know what robotics process automation or RPA as we know it has done. A discussion paper of the McKinsey Global Institute in May 2018 reports that automation will accelerate the shift in required workforce skills over the next 15 years. A pyramid-like job structure is changing into an almost vertical pipe-like structure. The base of the pyramid is shrinking. Today, we need lesser numbers at the base, but with higher order skills. Even the shelf life of skills is coming down with every technology intervention. A student often asks as to where the new employment opportunities are, whether the current jobs would be in the same form. By the time he graduates in four years time and the kind of skill sets required then. Automation is everywhere for sure. Let's analyze a few opportunities. Automation testing in software industry, business process automation, industrial automation, control and robotics process automation are all areas to reckon with for they will extensively use artificial intelligence, machine learning and the new technologies in future. Be it the online shopping site or the online credit card application processing, transaction based activities, software testing, regression or large scale automation, RPA is the answer. Entire KYC is RPA driven, hence requisite skills for RPA are important. Another question students 
often ask is if the skills they have acquired would be a waste since the employment markets have been so dynamic i can tell you from my experience that no skill will ever be a waste but the change in the environment must not be missed what one may correctly recognize is that data science is required in every sector for problem solving however what they do not is that the hiring standards require much higher skills in data science than those acquired in the universities same applies in every skill acquired python skills working with jupyter notebooks are all important starting with a more conventional skit learn type data science role and migrating to deep learning later will enhance one's life cycle demand for full stack developers is so high that companies sometimes end up asking data science experts to toggle for the new requirement industry 4.0 requires labor 4.0 artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning robotics cloud technology data analytics blockchain are all important cyber physical system cps is everywhere the physical entities are controlled by collaborating computational elements an era of alignment between man and machine on levels that were only depicted in science fiction films is dawning on us people will start communicating with machines instead of just operating them creating an effective hybrid of internet of people and the internet of things acquiring such skill sets will prove useful if they cannot be acquired in the universities they must be acquired outside the universities an emerging market is the gaming industry be it pc gaming or console gaming or mobile gaming where unlike movies the player himself is the hero tremendous opportunities in programming skills exist knowledge of java swift python objective c ruby html5 kotlin and android they are all game changers in 2018 the video games market generated 131 billion dollars with mobile gaming outpacing revenue made by pc and console gaming a 2019 report of global data says the video games market could become a 300 billion industry by 2025 with the growth of mobile gaming and cloud gaming the skills acquired here help in programming online quizzes simulations to teach mathematical concepts like randomness and even automated email replies this needs students not only to skill but reskill and upskill all the time the future could see an upsurge of jobs in areas like cyber security data science healthcare marketing communication design delivery logistics management human resources and gig economy these are the areas to invest both time and money if the skills cannot be learned in the university they must be learned outside it certifications of edx coursera linkedin or udemy or similar in applied areas must be pursued for good placements value added courses experiential learning hands on skills conceptual expertise exposure to international practices internships 
are all required. As the NEP proposes, the National Education Policy proposes unbundling credits, new certifications and collaborations will be required. From a university perspective, they will need to drive technology innovation, evolve academic pathways and include alternative credentials, collaborations between institutions, universities will be increasingly important to pool not only resources, best practices as well. Research and analytics must help drive improvements of learning outcomes. A flexible personalized platform connecting students to tutors, use of intelligent analytics and artificial intelligence will build credentials based learning. Similarly, innovative evaluation methodologies too must be adopted. Besides the technical domain specific skills, one must also excel in complex problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, people management and coordination with others, negotiation and cognitive flexibility. Further, the industry seeks a high level of emotional intelligence, good judgment and decision making capabilities. All said and done, if domain skills are found wanting, everything else is futile. The country is transforming into digital economy. As the technology marches ahead, the contours of existing jobs are continuously changing. While some have become obsolete, new opportunities have emerged in hitherto unknown sectors. Communications along with collaborative and adaptable mindset to cope with a rapidly changing workplace is important. I must say I did not have all the skills when I graduated. I can only envy the current lot sometimes and be nonplussed at their plight the other times. The future is uncertain and one is likely to encounter setbacks. No matter how much one prepares or plans, cultivating an ability to weather disappointment and turbulence, being resilient, working with purpose, strengthening the personal support base, concentrating on improving health, and well-being are all necessary. So friends, I have tried to paint a future perspective for you. Where you need to invest and where you need to excel. Be proactive or at least be active, but never inactive and worse, reactive. This is Dr. Mantha signing off for now. Until we meet the next Saturday, for another session of Saturday Wisdom and also wish you all a great weekend. Namaskar.